Hello, and welcome to the Route to School.ca training guide presented by the Traffic Injury Research Foundation. The Traffic Injury Research Foundation is an independent road safety research institute and registered charity providing the following services, research on road crashes, program and policy development, evaluation plan, program and policy evaluations, and knowledge transfer. TURF is joining the Green Action Center to work on this project together. The Green Action Center is a nonprofit, non governmental organization based in Winnipeg and serving Manitoba since 1985. The Green Action Center promotes greener living through environmental education and encourages practical green solutions for households, workplaces, schools, and communities. Primary areas of focus include green commuting, composting, and waste reduction, sustainable living, and resource conservation. Turf and the Green Action Center are also joining Urban Systems Limited, which is an employee-owned interdisciplinary professional consulting firm that is deeply passionate about building healthy, thriving communities. Since being founded in Kamloops in 1975, Urban Systems has worked alongside municipalities, governments, Indigenous communities, agencies, and private sector clients to make communities the best they can be. This is done through safe and sustainable transportation networks, green spaces, water systems, clean energy sources, and so much more. About the Roots School project. As I mentioned, TURF, the Green Action Center, and Urban Systems Limited are piloting a new web based school assessment tool in select Winnipeg middle schools to help ensure the safety of students on their chosen routes to and from school. The project objective is to identify common road safety problems and identify solutions to prevent road safety incidents and improve road safety, especially in school zones. So I'm going to tell you now about a little bit about the platform. Route to School enables parents and teachers to identify safety risks for students as they walk, cycle, or drive to school. It was developed by researchers from Havel University in Belgium, and it's delivered in Canada by TURF. The Route to School platform uses crowdsourcing to collect data, which can be used by school administrators, city councillors, and teachers to discuss and educate about risk and prioritize road safety improvements. There are four steps into logging into your account. The first is to go to rootoschool.ca and select to the platform. Step two, please click on register or sign in with Google. You will use your school email address. No password should be required at this time. Please fill out a registration form page. If you're uncomfortable sharing your real birthday, please enter January 1st, 2000. It is important that you click on sign in or register with Google and not register or sign in with Facebook, Apple, or Create Credentials. Step three, once you've signed into your account on the homepage of the Root School website, please check out the three videos or how to guides demonstrating how to map your route from home to school and how to pinpoint potential hazards you may see along the way. Lastly, step four, the community map can be used to help you plan out a safer route to school and see and comment on other reported hazards identified in your community. In addition, the collected data can be used by your school and community to identify problem locations and advocate for infrastructure improvement in your school neighborhood. It is important to note that other students will be not be able to see your route to and from school. They will simply be able to see where you have reported a hazard. They will not be able to see your start and end location for your route. This is to ensure anonymity and everyone's safety. There are three primary functions of the app, which I'm going to get into now. The first is reporting. Students can report hazards or traffic problems along their school route. These hazards can include the absence of a crosswalk, unsafe or absent pedestrian or bike paths, bad road surfaces, dangerous intersections, and overspeeding. As you can see here, this is what it looks like if someone is to create a new report. First, you will choose the means of transportation you experienced, whether it was walking, biking, bicycling, sorry. I believe this is a motorcycle, which shouldn't apply, a school bus, a car, or city transit. Once a means of transportation has been selected, you may then select a problem. In this case, it was chosen that the absence of a crosswalk existed. Then 
If wanted, you can provide a description of the problem. This person wrote, vehicles do not slow down when crossing the road at McRobb and Mystic. Their potential solution to the problem was to add a merged crosswalk at an intersection. While the description of the problem and solutions of the problem are not required to submit a report, providing as much data as possible will be beneficial in implementing changes. The second function of the app is to record trips. Students can map their routes to and from school, however they may get there. This can be done manually through the website where students will enter two data points, a start and end point, the end point likely being the school, and it will map how they get there. Along their route, they can submit a report like I showed you on the last page. Again, I would like to reiterate that no other student will be able to see anyone's trips but their own. Only students who submit their own route will be able to see that route. However, TERF will have access to the data as well as the developers of the app so it can be collected and analyzed at the end, but no other students at a person's school will be able to see their routes to and from school. Lastly, we have maps. So students can see a summary of the mapped routes at their school. This means the reports. So as you can see here, these two green circles with buildings in them um, represent where schools are located. These two sad faces represent where someone has submitted a report. This is what a student will be able to see when they log on. This is another student's report, but they cannot see their route, simply that they reported something. If you were to click on this sad face, something would pop up that would describe the report that was entered. For example, it may show the report that a sidewalk is needed, like we saw in the first page when I was showing reporting. So for teachers, TERF and the Green Action Center will provide all the promotional materials to be distributed to participating classes. The more participation from students, the better. To encourage data collection throughout the month, teachers can remind students weekly or whenever there is time to take a few minutes and map their routes. If you're able to set time aside for students to log their routes or danger spots during the school day, that's great. But if there's no time, that's okay too. We completely understand that you have curriculum priorities that must be met. And if you're unable to make time in class, we simply ask that you encourage students to do this on their own time. If the school wants information to share with parents, TERF and the Green Action Center will happily provide it. We are available at any time to address any questions or concerns you may have throughout the project. And Catherine at the Green Action Center and Hannah at TERF are, have provided their emails. Please feel free to contact them at any time you have questions or concerns throughout the duration of this project and they will get back to you as soon as possible. Outcome. So what's the purpose? At the end of the month long campaign at your school, TERF will provide school administrators with a report containing collected data identifying all hazards students encountered along their routes to school. This data can be used to work with municipal staff and elected officials to identify needed infrastructure improvements. It can also be used by teachers to create relevant and real world examples to help teach road safety to students. Thank you so much for your time and completing this training. Remember, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact Hannah at TERF or Catherine at the Green Action Center. Thank you.